Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here's how to create seamless tiled patterns, vector shapes, and capture colors and gradients from images within Photoshop. In the Layers panel, I'll select the layer that has the content on it that I want to use. Then from the Libraries panel, I'll choose to create from image. To create a pattern, I'll select from one of the five different pattern options. Use the scale slider as well as the rotation slider and then drag in the image area here to create the pattern. Then I can save that to my CC libraries. Now to create a shape, I'll want to define the amount of detail in the shape. I can choose whether or not to invert the shape as well as smooth on save. And if I need to refine the shape, I can use the eraser tool. Again, I'll save this to my CC libraries. Now to capture colors from the image, I'll choose color themes. I can select from any of these different color moods, or I can click on any of the color swatches in order to select my own palette and save them. Finally, to create a gradient, I can choose the number of gradient stops and then reposition the samplers in the image area as needed and save them. Now, when I'm finished creating my library content, I can just drag and drop the shape in the image area, and because it's vector, I can resize it as many times as I want without losing any image quality. To use the pattern, I simply click on it, then I can change the scale as well as reposition it in the image area. To add a gradient, in order to make it flexible, first I'll add a gradient fill layer, then I'll select the gradient, then change the blend mode of the gradient, and double click in order to change any additional options. Finally, to change the color of the text, I'll select the type layer, and then click on the color swatch to apply it.